everybody, it's Karen here from tuppenscolor.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me and today I am revisiting this card. Now when I made this card originally I said I was going to make a part two. So this is where I left it. When I opened up the card I had a message inside that just said Happy Halloween and that's fine, that's nice and good but I wanted to do something that uh, had a little bit more of a surprise factor because after all it's Halloween you want something that's got a little bit of magic. So if you stay with me I'll show you what I did. Here I have basic black card and it's 10 inches by 5 inches and actually it's not 10 inches by 5 inches, I was wrong. Here is my basic black card, it's 5 inches on the short side and it's 10 and 1 eighth of an inch on the long side. So I'm going to score at 5 inches and at 5 and an eighth of an inch. And now I'm going to fold it along that first score line and also along that second score line so that I make a card that has a little bit of a spine to it. Now it's not 100% necessary but I do find that if I'm making a card that has, and I haven't put my microphone on silly cat. And start again. Here is my card base, which I've already scored and folded because I didn't realize that I had my microphone off. So <laughs> So this is my basic black card blank and it's 10 and 1 8 of an inch by 5 inches and this is something of an action replay because I went ahead and uh, started work on it and uh, didn't realise I didn't have my microphone on. So this is take two um, but all I did was I scored it at 5 inches and at 5 and 1 8 of an inch. Now you can do it like that or you can score it at 5 inches and you can spin it round and score it at 5 inches again result will be the same and then the next thing that you have to do is to burnish those lines that you just scored and that will give you a card with a little bit of a uh, of a spine not a hundred percent necessary but I find that if I am making cards with a mechanism inside a pop-up or something like that it helps to have that little bit of extra room it helps the card to lie flat and while I've got my And while my scoreboard is out, I have another piece of basic black. Uh, width doesn't really matter as long as it's more than about half an inch. And it is five and a half inches long. So I'm going to score a two, two and a half, then at uh, four and a half, and five. And I'm going to fold that up so that it makes a kind of a, um, a little box shape. I've got two pieces of my designer series paper. Now these happen to be the same pattern that I've put on the front of the card and this time I'm going to use the other side. And I've cut these to four and three quarters of an inch square. And I'm going to put these down before I start doing anything fancy with pop-up mechanisms or anything like that. So 
clean away that overspill. Because it's much easier to put your background paper down before you start adding in all your pop-up uh, your pop-up pieces because otherwise then you're trying to kind of sort of dance around them which is not much fun all right so here is my piece of basic black which i um, scored into the box shape and all i've done is i've just taken my scissors and just cut straight down the middle i've done anything fancy with it at all and i'm just going to glue those into a box shape okay and the same thing again and i've done it this way because i find it easier to just score one larger piece and then trim it down into smaller pieces so um, it's a bit less fiddly all right, so those are going to be the pieces that hold my pop-up mechanism. And I'm going to put that aside for the adhesive to have some time to dry while I work on the next bit. Uh, I had a bit of a brainstorm <laughs> while I was putting that first one on. And um, yeah, I got it wrong. So I've corrected what I've done wrong. And I'm going to put this one on right. Okay. So I've given myself um, a little bit of, oh, what maybe inch and a quarter something like that from the edge of the card and I'm going to take off the backing of my tape but I'm only going to take it down as far as that bottom piece there can you see it okay and I'm also going to add a little bit of liquid adhesive to make sure that I've got a nice strong bond so now I'm holding my pop-up piece because that's what it is that's going to be it's going to make the pop-up action so i'm holding it so that the bottom of it is in line with the bottom of the channel there okay so now i can take those two pieces of backing tape away add a little bit more liquid adhesive and just close up my card now when I open my card, if I've done this right this time, yes, my pop-up pieces will pop up. So now I'm going to take my panel and I'm going to make sure that when the card is closed, nothing is showing underneath. So that looks to be like a good place and I'm going to put some liquid adhesive onto the top of the pop-up, I don't know what you call them, pop-up arms, legs, what have you, so that now when I open up the card, the boo pops up. So. All I'm going to do now is I'm going to take these other pieces that I've die cut and I'm going to just um, pop them around the card making it look uh, attractive and uh, we'll do a bit of fast forwarding and I'll see you in a while. On the inside of my card I want some nice spooky bats to, to flutter around and this sheet of designer series paper which is in that same stack um, has lots and lots of them so I could take my uh, take my snips and I could just cut them out but look at this look at this this die which is in the Halloween magic set and you can see I've got more bats that I've been cutting out there uh, but this die look how clever this is because if I just fit it over those two it's going to cut them perfectly so what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim a corner off of this piece of paper I'm going to take it over to my die cutting machine and I am going to cut me out some bats I have returned from a marathon die cutting session so the dies that I used were these from Halloween Magic and um, I cut the bats out of the designer series paper the Magic in This Night DSP that I cut out of Bermuda Bay 
Uh, the spider uh, was left over from when I did the front of the card and he was cut out in uh, Blackberry Bliss. The little bats were in basic black and the border here was done in Blackberry Bliss. And I also cut out the word boo and an exclamation mark from the playful letters dies. So those are all ready to go. And now I want to start putting things together. So here is my background panel and I'm going to give it a little bit of shading with some grey granite ink. Just a little bit. Just a little bit of sponging. And as you can see my sponge isn't anything fancy. Um, I buy them in a pack of 20. They're the kind you use for you know, scrubbing your dishes. And a pack of 20 is not much money, and I will get four sponges out of each of the 20 in the pack. So I have got enough sponges to keep me going for some considerable length of time. All right. So that is now a little bit grungier, which I think uh, for me works better for Halloween. So I have the letters BOO. From the playful letters and one of the things that I really really love about the playful letters is that uh, you get more than one of some letters of the uh, you know the popular letters so that I'm going to have that word boo so let's start with the letters O and I've been a little bit crafty here and cut these out onto some of our adhesive sheets. And that means that they are now self-adhesive. So I'm just, just putting them down kind of lightly to begin with. So they're not stuck too firmly. And I have left my tweezers on the other side of the room. <laughs> and I don't want to stop filming to go and get them. Okay. So this is the exclamation point. Or exclamation mark. And you know what? It would have been quicker to just go and get the uh, go and get the tweezers, wouldn't it? Hey ho! Especially for this little full stop here. Have I got the back off that. I think I have. I can't see which way around it is without getting my head in the camera. There we go. So, at the moment we've got an O. And now the B. Trying very hard not to use bad language here. There we go. Even though the centre of the bee was stuck to the background paper, it had actually cut itself out. So there we go. Do I need to rearrange this slightly? Maybe I do. So let's pull that that way a little bit. And as you can see, the adhesive, when it's fresh, is quite forgiving. I suspect that it will tighten up a bit over time. Okay, so that is my the start of my panel. And now let's get going with a few bats and spiders and things.
Okay, so I'm not going to go too much further with this until I start assembling the, uh, the pop-up mechanism because I want to make sure that everything fits inside the card when it's closed. So I'm going to put that on one side just for a moment and I'm going to turn my attention to uh, these pieces which I've gone ahead and put some, uh, some tear and tape on too. And let's get them pointing in the same direction. And just going to use this as a as a sort of a gauge to how far apart I want them to sit. Okay, and as well as my tear and tape, I am going to add in a little piece of my. Uh, my liquid adhesive. I'm trying to think and work at the same time and it never ends well. <laughs> so let me put that up against the, uh, the channel in the middle of the card and bring that up. So to finish off the card, um, I've chopped off the front of the one I made originally and I am just going to glue that on to the card that I made. Now, if you were making this from scratch, you wouldn't make two cards and then chop one up, would you? You'd, you'd, you know, you'd, you'd, make your, you'd make your card with the front that you wanted on it and then you'd... Uh, then you'd do the inside, wouldn't you? But uh, this is because I had a bright idea halfway through making the card. Okay, and as you can see, that is lying quite flat, courtesy of that little uh, one eighth of an inch gusset. And on the inside, um, I've cut out the Happy Halloween and the spider that were in my original card. Um, I did try and see if uh, one of the labels dies would cut it out neatly, but because I had the spider there, um, it would have meant chopping the spider's legs off, and I'm not going to do that, because that would be cruel to spiders. <laughs> and I'm just going to reuse it on the inside of my card. And again, uh, if I were doing this card again, I would do my stamping onto my background paper and then add in my spider. But do you know what? I don't think it looks too bad. And I think I'm rather happy with that. And there is my finished card. So there is the front. And if I open it up on the inside, I have uh, my surprise pop up with lots of bats and a couple of spiders. And that is it for today. I do hope that you've enjoyed this video and if so, be dead chuffed if you would click that like button and uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about it. But uh, that is it for today. Thank you very much for joining me and do come back and see me again sometime soon, won't you? But for now, bye bye.